Hey there guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Norbert. Today we'll be looking at the Orimo Studio BT headphones. It's a pair of over-ear Bluetooth headphones from Orimo. And it has been out for quite some time now, but I never really got a chance to review it. But better late than never, so here we go. Okay, so let's start out with the build. Um, the Orimo headphones are made of plastic and I'd say the plastic is on the lower end of the spectrum. They do look good. I like the way it looks. The air cups are big enough to fit my entire ear without it rubbing on anything. The air cups are soft and plush. The leatherette material is quite cheap and won't wear well uh, with age. On the left ear cup, you get your micro USB input. On the right ear cup, you get all your controls, your volume up, volume down, your power on, uh, pause play, and a headphone jack, along with your microphone. There is no tilt or swivel, so they are fixed. And because of the way they are shaped, they don't quite fit on your head properly. You'd have to adjust them quite tight for it to fit snugly on your head. Uh, you can extend them out if you have a bigger head, but they won't grip your ears properly for most people anyways. Durability is in question, but so far so good. You can never get a properly good fit unless you have a sort of larger head because, head because of the way it's shaped. It's kind of semi-circular up until the point where the ear cups are, and then it's straight from there. It doesn't curve inwards as you'd expect headphones to do to fit your head properly. So if you extend it out too much, you lose the seal around your ears and then you don't get the full experience. Which brings me on to the features. So it's rocking a 500 milliamp hour battery, which they claim gives you about 20 hours of uh, listening time, which should be enough for most people. There is no noise cancellation and because of the fit issues, it will give you a bit of a hard time um, isolating yourself from the rest of the world. Because it's also Bluetooth 4.2, you can't connect to multiple devices at once. So if, you, if you're the kind of person that uses, uh, uses it for your, say, PC and want to take a phone call, you're out of luck there. And speaking of phone calls, the microphone I'd say is subpar. It's good enough that people will hear what you're saying in a phone call. Uh, I have tried uh, recording using them. It sounds very, very staticky and grainy. So it's a no-go for that. Okay, so that's the features done. Let's move on to how it actually sounds. I have to say, I quite like the way uh, these headphones sound. The bass, they didn't, they didn't skimp out on the bass. There's enough bass. I, I'd prefer a bit more, but pretty much uh, a lot of people would be happy with the bass levels on this. The mids and highs are, I would say, good enough. They're serviceable. The only thing that I noticed though is when, play, uh, when playing using Bluetooth, because the headphones are powered on, and I've noticed this with a lot of uh, the cheaper headphones, the bass is richest when the headphones are powered on and using Bluetooth. And once you plug in the audio jack to listen it uh, listen using um, a wired connection, it will switch off automatically, which a lot of the cheaper headphones do. And you don't get that richer bass anymore because the only power is coming through the audio jack and that's ne not nearly enough. But overall, I do like the way these sound. I'd probably pick these these um, over a lot of the cheaper, more obscure brands out there. Among those, I, I, I put this one right at the top or just thereabouts. I would absolutely recommend them if you're in a pinch and you need just some headphones to uh, get the job done. These will do that. Okay, that's been it guys. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already and turn on that notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video. And I will see you in the next one.